Well, if you're someone who, when 3 p.m. rolls around, you get hit with an insatiable craving that usually ends with you inhaling anything that is not nailed down, we're going to help you out today. This morning, we're tackling that 3 p.m. fix with some snack suggestions that don't involve a knife and fork, but do involve some sweetness, some protein, and lots of good, hearty ingredients. To do that, registered dietitian and food lover Abby Sharp is here. Good morning, Abby. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So. Dietitian who's yes. not a fan of diets. I'm not a fan of diets. I know we are in the heart of diet season, but I'm here to be the bearer of bad news that diets do not mm -hmm. work yeah. because they force us to ignore our body's innate wisdom when it comes to what to eat. And I promise you that when you actually start to tune into those cues and choose foods that our body actually craves and needs, we start to actually notice the inherent deliciousness of naturally nourishing foods like all the, the recipes I've got here today. And then all of those bad foods we've for, forbidden ourselves on, they they totally lose their allure. So we start to eat in ways that actually make us feel good and make us glow from the inside out. Well, speaking of glow, you've got your book, Mindful Glow Cookbook. And yes. what I find interesting about it is it's full of uh, healthy food. Uh, you know, they, it's about good fats and this, but you don't go in depth into the nutritional information of the food. Yes, that was um, an intentional decision. I want people to actually listen to their bodies rather than look at external cues for how much to eat or what to eat. And, and that's what happens when we start counting calories and macros and all those kinds of things. We can trust that the, the recipes here are super well balanced and really, really nourishing. All right, well, let's get right into it. Uh, right here, this is called the ban Chocolate Dip Banana Crunch Roll Up Pop. Okay. Yes. I love all those words. All those words So let's together. put them together. Let's do it. So I think everything is more fun yeah. when it's on a popsicle stick. Um, so basically what I've done is I've got some whole grain wraps with a little bit of almond butter. Mm -hmm. If you can help me, you can grab a banana. Sure. Lay this down. Okay. And then we're gonna add all, all of our little toppings. We've got some, um, these are some brand cereal to add the sure. fiber and the crunch. We love yeah, the crunch. We love, of course we love the crunch. We love the crunch. We've got some dried cherries here for some natural sweetness. Okay. You can totally You could, you could use that. cranberries Cranberries, if you, want, or you could use any raisins. kind of dried, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to roll that up. This is a great recipe if you wanna get your kids involved okay. too. I'm sure they would love this. Okay. Give it a nice roll. And all I've done is I've inserted the popsicle sticks in either end, basically just like this, okay. sliced it in half, and then I put it in the fridge or freezer just okay. for a few minutes. And we've got these ones that are cold okay. over here. I know you're really into this. I love yes, it. Yes, I am, absolutely. Yeah, you take so your you slice it in serious. half and then? We put it in the fridge or freezer okay. for just a few minutes. Okay. And we're gonna do a little dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. What kind of what kind of chocolate are we looking Dark at? Dark chocolate, okay. the good stuff. And I've got some. When you melt this, do you melt it with coconut oil? I do. So okay. that's all we've done. We've added a little bit of coconut oil. We can add any fun toppings we I like want. That. Okay, good, good, good. So you can get the kids; they can pick yeah, their faves. Good. We've okay. got What's some this here? hemp hearts, sure, we'll um, some crushed hemp hearts. pistachios, and right. some toasted coconut. All my faves. Hey, that's really easy to make. Really I mean, easy. You saw me do it. That's yeah, pretty easy. we did it. We okay. did it. In can one I try one? one? Go for all it. Right. Yes. Let's give this a whirl here. Okay, and then back in the freezer? You, well, you can put them in the freezer if you want to make, make a big batch, uh -huh. but or you can just serve right as is. Oh, we're going for it. How's that? Okay, Fun, okay. amazing. We got the crunch, we got the sweet. I'm guessing all these things help tamp down on that hunger. Oh, 100%. We've got fiber, mm. protein, and good fats. That's really good. Over here, if you want to go with something yes. equally hearty. Yes, so this is my sriracha peanut hummus. It's a fun little take on a classic um, kind of 3 p.m. energy snack, um, but it's got some kind of Asian-inspired flavors. It's spicy, it's savory, it is really, truly addictive. Fantastic, now I wanna come over here because I've been eyeballing this yes. since we got here, and we only have about 30 seconds left, so we gotta go qu pretty Quick. quickly. So what do we have? We've got these energy balls and energy bites, and we've got a deconstructed Carrot cake. Carrot cake. Carrot cake protein parfait. It's actually got um, whipped cottage cheese in there for protein. We've got my peaches and cream quinoa bites with a brown sugar uh, crackle glaze. And those are savory energy bites with mango and edamame. I'm going to taste this to see if yeah. it actually tastes like go carrot cake. Go for it. All right, here we go. So, yup. Right? That's one. And I want to try this one too. <laughs> Because you got the names I down know, that piqued I my know, interest. Okay, so I what's know. this one called again? That is my um, peaches and cream quinoa bites with a brown sugar crackle glaze. I'm really Yum. good. Abby, thank you so much. Thank you. You can find all these recipes and more in Abby's The Mindful Glow Cookbook.